folks i just got finished just watching uh jay-z life and times in new york city it was an awesome awesome concert i've never been to any of his concerts but i actually felt like i was there because it was on youtube and um you know it just made you feel comfortable like you were there first i want to let you know that he made a song a long time ago with biggie smalls if you guys remember the song and um if you don't know that when somebody close to you passes away, you get some liquor and you pour it out. And that goes memories to them. Rest in peace. Um, he poured out a little liquor from a gold bottle and then took a drink of it. I don't know. It could have been champagne or whatever the drink is that he likes to drink. So when he came out dancing, he had on a black quilted vest. Probably like the kind I had back in like 1980. It was sleeveless and it's uh, pretty cool with some jeans on and some little boots. They're probably Timberlands, more than likely. And he had on a white baseball cap of the New York Nets, which I'm sure everybody likes those. That's in New York and in Brooklyn. He also had on um, a couple of chains, like two chains, but his was three chains and they came like way down here like to his middle part of his stomach he had on a watch that looked like it could have been Michael Kors the chron chron chronographic I think that's the name of it it looked like one of those kind or it could have been something else and it was gold so that was pretty cool now um, he was sitting oh he said this is his eighth and final show so I guess that means he's gonna be retiring singing he'll be dealing with just living his life with his wife Beyonce and their little baby um, Jay-Z is part owner of the team of the New York uh, what is it called the Brooklyn Dodgers he's owner and Jackie Robinson if you don't know played on the on the baseball team he was the first black person on the team bit when big pimping came out oh my god that is like the shiznit i love that song uh, i want to say it came out maybe in 92 93 somewhere around that time and two of the guys i remember seeing on the video when they were on that boat they both went to school with me at junior high school and and it's just funny when you see people that are in movies and that are plays or videos you never realize that they happen to be people that you actually knew or something of that sort. Then they had some goddess stuff in the background while the song was playing and he was singing. Then Beyonce came out and she performs real good and they were dressed the same. She had on um, a leather like uh, I want to say a cat suit but it wasn't long sleeve it was long long it wasn't long pants or anything it was almost like a it was a bodysuit and it was leather it was cute had a little zipper on it and everything and she performs really really good and I like the way her makeup was put on her hair was pretty nice and I didn't too much care for Beyonce for a long time but I think her music is starting to sound better now and it's good to see young people dancing while they're performing at the same time uh, let's see with her, her hair was pretty nice and it was gold. Well, it's always gold, isn't it? She sang two songs and, oh, it was Crazy in Love. And then Hard Knock Life came out, he put on. And that was awesome. I love, um, I always like Jay-Z. He always has very nice beats in all his songs. It's one of my favorite songs. And do you have an encore? I love this song also. And I love the DJ scratching on the song. When I was 14 years old, I had a DJ equipment set and I used to like that scratch. So, um, and then he said he wanted to, he has some songs that he wanted to sing and perform that was deep. So I don't know if maybe they really meant a lot to him or that basically meant it's just a lot of songs that came from the past 
that he was bringing out. Then he put on his jacket. He had on a leather jacket, with the, which was a hoodie, and it was nice. And it was, it was leather, but the hoodie, you know how they are now, it's like material back there. Then uh, his jacket was long sleeve, like it, like he got cold all of a sudden. And then um, he had on a white jersey with uh, Brooklyn up here and the number four on it. And then he sang that song, Hey, to the Izo, Izo. I don't know the word, so I can't sing it. And then he sang, Jigga what? Jigga who? I remember that song. I sound like came out a long time ago. Then Money Anything, dun, 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 dun. with Jermaine Dupri. You know, that was probably like, I want to say 2003 when he came out with that song. Then he took off his jacket once again because I guess he got hot and decided, hey, I want to start getting funky with everybody and he must be getting ready to leave us. So he got to do his thing out there even more. So then he played, then he sang another song I've never heard of before. But it sounded like something that came out in the 90s. Then he sang another song. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? You know, I can't sing, so I can't sing can't sing that song. But I'm sure you know what song that is. He came out with that song with Pharrell. Pharrell actually sings on it. And trying to dance. Yeah, Jay-Z was dancing. It was, it was funny because it just seemed like everybody just, when they hear music, they mm, 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 mm. They actually just hold their hands up like they're driving a car or something and do this. That's like the thing with us old people. Everybody like 35 and up, that's the, that's the way they dance. Then he played Snoop Dogg, my favorite rapper. I want to rock right now. Rock, rock, right now. I want to rock right now. Rock, rock, right now. He played that like three times, and I was like, what? He's playing this song? But then I forgot he was actually in the song also with Snoop Dogg, and then he said, yeah, I like Snoopy. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's my shit. So then he played it again. He had stopped it, and then he played it again. I want to rock right now. Rock, right, rock, right now. Three times, and I was like, whew, feeling extra hype now. I thought maybe Snoop Dogg was about to come out on the stage, but... He didn't come. Then he played that new song that he has with Rick Ross. Man, I love that song. And I believe that song is Pirates. So, uh, if you don't have that Rick Ross song CD, you want to go get it. Because it's the bomb. So true. He even said that Jesus gave us all something to be talented about. And Lord knows, I have a lot of things to be talented about. Number one, I have no problem talking to anybody Anywhere I go, um, I'm also a good seller, selling Avon or whatever I decide to sell whenever I'm selling it. And um, he also said that um, everybody's a genius in their own way. And I know I'm a genius because I, I know how to draw, I know how to paint, I know how to be creative. Like I made some nail designs with Frank and Weenie on it, on the nails, and everybody's like, well, you did that? Yes, I'm a genius at some things I know how to do. Then, uh, Beyonce came out, and they sang a song together, and at first I didn't know what it was, but it was, um, what's the name of that song? Wow, came out, I forgot the name of the song that quick, see y'all? Oh, Forever Young. She came out with a black leather jacket on, and I guess the air was blowing so much where they had to put on a leather jacket, but maybe she just wanted to change up her clothes. I don't know. It was a black leather jacket that just looked kind of weird, kind of like space-like. Something looked like Janet Jackson would wear. Anyway, so at the end of her little song, she got up and kissed her husband. I thought it was so cute and I miss it. I wanted to take a picture of it. So I hope you uh, like my review and I'm sure it'll probably be up later on. The actual two hour event, but it was really cool. So Jay-Z, you did real good. Hopefully next time I'll be in LA seeing you.